Uh, this is the first green, third Green Man Gaming quip I've had to come up with today, and I, I got nothing. Just go to GreenManGaming.com. I'm begging ya. Buy all the games that they have in their storefront. Head down to the link below. The Heverin! We saw these guys when they were in the tribal stage. They have now entered the space stage, much like the rest of our little galactic community that we have going. Here's their home planet of Hexus. We've seen it before. This is their new ship. Wait, uh, here, hold on, I can pull it out from something. My stuff. Pull it out from my stuff. All this stuff here and more will have explanations later in the series. Here it is, the Heverin Discoverer. All-purpose spacecraft utilized by the Heverin Colonial Alliance. It is a multi-purpose craft that is pretty much the only starship of theirs that is al currently allowed to be armed. Because, in case you didn't know, the Heverin are the pacifists of our alliance. Everything that they do is for the sake of just pure pacifism. They're wonderful, wonderful, um, their wonderful community of, of, um, their, of, of their little quarter of the galaxy that they've carved out for themselves. Just the most peaceful quarter of the galaxy there is. All two fucking planets. Okay, they're like right at the start here. So bear, bear with me. <laughs> uh, we saw these guys earlier. Uh, we could, uh, we could literally just head over that way and make contact with the Urkton. And we just might do that after we recharge the spaceship, of course. Yes. Let's go ahead and do that. That is a lot of spice. How fast are you digging the spice out? My current mission is to sell spice to another empire, so... I guess we should do that. Oh, sell this. Just so we have some disposable income. Maybe while we're out there, we'll find a cheap price on a colony, um... Uh, Enhancement package or something. <laughs> I don't know. Got a badge from flying around a lot. All right, these guys. Uh, gracious greeters, superpower. They like new acquaintances, and we apparently introduced ourselves. Hello. Uh, yeah, they have some cheap prices. Uh, diplomacy. Can we establish a trade route? Yes. Cool, we have trade. We got trade, we got trade, we got trade. Which is everything that we need right now. We need... What we need to do with the Heverin is we need to uh, find a way to get them off the ground, sort of uh, like boost their economic growth, because pacifism is only gonna get, get us so far. We need some way to jumpstart their economy so that they'll be able to keep up with their galactic allies later in the series. And I realize that I am, uh, I am v very, very much thinking ahead here. And that's because with this series, I have a very long-term plan thought out. Are we being ambushed by pirates? Yes. Pirates in the space battleship Yamato, apparently. <laughs> okay. Uh, hit them with some proton missiles. We'll show the space battleship Yamato what for! Actually, it's not the- it's not specifically the Yamato, it's, uh, like the Iowa. Really. It's a combination between two ships. Or something. I don't know. I can look it up on the- on my, uh, Sporpedia. It would be under... Everything, wouldn't it? Oh, joy. This mess is everything. All right, go to vehicles, go to spaceships. That's what we're looking for. 
least we can, at least we can just freaking organize it. Here it is. I don't know why, no, that's a different one, but it's, it's, uh, it, it's the same basic principle. They named it the Sporgo. It sounds like, it sounds like something to spork or some shit. Here it is, the, uh, Missouri. Ugh. Good. All right. So, we've done that. There is actually a planet there that might be worth colonizing if we so desire. And I do desire. I desire many things. And right now we need to get these guys off the ground as soon as possible. This is the closest that we can get to um, just starting out in the space age with this playthrough, by the way. All right, go here. This is a T1. It's a T1. Ah, what's up? Something's on the radar. Yes, that is spice. Leave me alone. <sighs> do we have a? Uh, we do not have terraforming tools yet. Put the colony here. At least the environment is stable. It's a bit on the cold side. But it is in the green zone. And that, as you can see, the, uh... Ooh! I level, they leveled up! Level one! Holy shit! Now the title, the, the commander. <laughs> uh, current angle... That's their galactic coordinates. Alright, let's see, uh... Yeah, this is a good, this is a good solar system. We'll thrive here. Anyway, current objective, sell spice to somebody. God damn it, enough chit-chat. Let's sell this shit. We have a lot of it. We need to get rid of it. Ugh. Who are you pink guys out here? How you doing? How you folks doing? All right, salutations. I need to discuss trade. They don't want to talk about trade. Well, that's too bad because I do. Unfortunately for our business interests, these, this race is a pacifist. <laughs> so we can't do anything. We could blow them up, but we won't. <laughs> Because we're... We believe in pacifism. Who's this? Be prepared to bow before the might of Spode. Are you aggressive or, or... Or what? Hi there. Yes. They distrust strangers, but I come in peace. Still in the negatives with these guys. Here, diplomacy. Uh, gifts. 10,000. Great. Well, the, we're off to a decent start with them, at least. Crop circles. <laughs> uh, let's see if we get a. Let's see if this solar system here is any good. No. Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's cool looking. That's a black hole. I think. <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> They're not entirely sure themselves, because they're new to the whole space thing. Yeah, it's a planet. <laughs> uh, discovered a barren planet, can sustain a limited comet and colony of blah 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 blah. Look, I'm just here to steal whatever the hell's on the surface, okay? So where is it? Oh, were we ambushed by pirates or some shit? Yes. I wasn't paying attention. Are we being attacked by gold swords from Minecraft? Because that's what it looks like. <laughs> Fuck it. 
Ah, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Isn't this an E10 game? Why are you swearing so much? Online interaction not rated by ESRB. So suck it. <laughs> by the end of this series, like a thousand episodes from now, because there's a grand plan for this for this playthrough. I want the, I want us to be selling T-shirts that say that that have all that have all the races shouting online interaction not rated by ESRB. Someone get on that. <laughs> it's some fan art or something that we can put on a t-shirt. I'm just running around looking for treasure right now. There isn't a lot. We need more! More treasure! I got the exploration badge at least. Or, uh, yeah, the Explorer 1 badge. That's actually what it was called. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Head back home, let's recharge and repair and refuel. Recharge, repair, refuel. Some R and R, quite literally. <laughs> Yay! R and R! Yeah, we can uh, have a look over here. That's a T2, but unfortunately, it's already inhabited. We can't attack them. It's not the way of the Heaven. Heaven or pacifists? What did we get? Basic cargo. Oh, thank God! <laughs> Basic cargo. Oh, thank God. <laughs> That's what it's called. And unfortunately, we can't do anything get further with that star system. It's inhabited. We're pacifists. With a capital P. Ah, there we go. More treasures. We may be pacifists, but that doesn't uh, but that doesn't mean we can't go and sell shit. <laughs> Some blue spice here. We might be able to utilize those planets. Quite close to the home world too. Quite close to the Heaven home world too. Good stuff. Some red spice right there. Here's another one that we haven't explored. Let's map these. Uh, T1 and T2. Here, I'm gonna sell to you. Who are, who are you guys? Wait, what? Okay, I went to the wrong one. They're here. <laughs> uh. It's the Oog Ogros. It's the Ogros. Oog Ogros. Oog Ogros. Fuck it. Missions. Um. No. Again, pacifism. Got to play the part. <laughs> pacifism is the name of the game here. We have to play each race very differently, lest we descend into anarchy. All right, missions. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. I've agreed to help you now, so, uh, okay, Jesus Christ. Seeing the item where the star is two to three parsec, all right. On the star named Hecrecta. <laughs> and you guys have no idea where this is. Hecrecta. It's supposed to be somewhere in this, like, ring, but it isn't. I'm gonna look a little bit outside the ring, just... Star named Hectalia. Hectala. Where the hell is Hectala? I've probably gone over- I'M OVER IT! <laughs> Fucking hell! 
Greg, put up like big bold text. Uh, b like when I shout, I'm over it. Just the sudden realization of, oh god. All right, we're here, and now I can't find it. We're supposed to be looking for a golden idol or something. Where the hell is it? Are these frozen? Yeah, those are frozen. This is a really cold planet, isn't it? Here, try going this way. Report somewhere is on planet Mertness. How do I know? It's fucking. Alright, I'm. I'm an idiot. It's supposed to be from this particular star. So let's actually look for the planet name now. There it is. Okay. Fucking hell. Planet Mermis. Isn't that like Minmus? Because we're doing a lot of space stuff lately, aren't we? Jeez. Whole lot of space stuff. Woo! We got it! Alright, now we have to get it back to the thing. Wherever the hell that is. Alright, I'm gonna start using the space bar to zoom out because I cannot keep scrolling like this. What's the zoom in? X. X is a zoom in. Alright. Hi. Yes. Before I go, trade! Finally, trade is open. Sell! Oh! We got that mission out of the way. Get that bigger cargo hold while we're here. Nice, okay. That was a huge boost for the Empire. <laughs> and by Empire, I mean Alliance. We're the Hevron Colonial Alliance. Gotta get the name right. That's another thing I'm gonna have to learn to do with this uh, series, is get the names right. Let's see, expand, let's learn some terraforming. All right, you gave me the tools. Cool. Trade. Where are we getting this yellow spice? Oh, wait, our trade route. That's right. All right, so we just uh, unlocked small energy storage. We're really burning through this first bit, aren't we? All right, so we need to terraform planet Thylan. Here it is, planet Thylan. It's, uh... It looks like it's being held together by stitches. <laughs> Alright, so this just needs an atmosphere generator and it's good to go. Let that do its thing. You saw in the last video I was using the, the heat rays and the freeze rays and... Uh, out cedars. Well, this is just... This is a different tool. You plunk it down once and it does its thing and then... And it's done. Which this planet needs an atmosphere because it apparently has giant meteor storms pummeling the surface. Alright, this is the first planet, so that should just barely be enough to pull it off. Because, because like, because like, the first three missions of every race, it's like, okay. The, uh, the first few missions of every race, it's like, okay, go establish a colony. Cool. You got the colony. Terraform that planet, and so and, and it's like, like the game plans it out pretty pretty smoothly. All right, colony is up and running. It's red spice, which we can't really sell but too good. Is this thing just consistently useless? Where are the Heverin houses? Here we go, the Heverin Housing Complex. Uh, it's a good, good thing to start out with. <laughs> yeah, you thought that was only that shit was only contained at Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh wait, that's right. These guys also use the center of the center of the arts. Cause the styles just happen to coincide with one another. I figured it would I figured it wouldn't be too bad. Factory. 
my house, the entertainment, and that might be, oh no wait, I think we have room for one more house. No, actually we don't. All right, so then put this here and this here. There we go. There we go. That's a whole lot of spice. It's actually gonna be faster than our home world. <laughs> Believe it or not. Ooh, another, uh, another promotion. Jeez, Captain, you wanna slow down with your climbing through the ranks there a little bit? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Look at Ace Captain over here and uh, flying his spaceship around a planet that's literally in stitches. <laughs> All right, head on back. Let's get rewards. Hey, -o. I'd like to discuss recharging my spaceship, thank you. All right, uh... A trade route with, uh... Those dudes is going well. Uh, let's see how our, uh... Oh, wait, did I not terraform this place? Oh, no, wait, no, 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 now we can... We didn't terraform this place, but now we have the tools and we can terraform this place. I was just waiting for the surplus of stuff that it throws into the cargo bay. And I'm just gonna throw that stuff down. Did I just drop that? Yes. Sorry! <laughs> you can't drop that, you have to hold the button down. There we go. And that's a whole load of trees and stuff for the uh, purple planet. Purple! <laughs> it's a purple planet. So now we have the purple planet. This is actually a really good solar system right here. We'll definitely be able to use this later in the game. Let's check out Sigma 2. Looks like we've made pig of made contact uh, with the pig, pig of death yeah. empire. <laughs> you guys sound fun! <laughs> Who made that? Uh, All right, it's an honor apparently. Oh, these guys have decent prices on red spice And colonies Well Nothing but positives with them you know, despite the fact that they're named the pig of death empire <laughs> Good lord some of the stuff we're gonna get up to in this game is just, just just crazy. I think that the Gubble are actually linked up with, uh, with Mr. Meeseeks. Well, that might be the Irkton. Someone's linked up with, with the Mr. Meeseeks Empire. The weird thing is, too, I think they became pacifists. <laughs> like, they became serious worshippers of Spode. Like, what the hell? We need a better, uh, engine on this thing. Let's see if we, let's see if we can find someone over here. Yeah, we got some treasure! Pick it up. Where is it? We need this treasure. Treasure is stuff we can sell. We can sell it to expand the empire. In the interest of, uh, furthering, uh, Heverin interests, <laughs> we're gonna try and only sell this stuff to the home world. Or the actual Heverin Empire in itself. Because these are all rare artifacts from all over the world. Another, another thing with the Heverin is that they're... I want them to be like the guys that preserve history and stuff like that. So they're not selling artifacts to other species and they, and they also try to buy up whatever other races are offering and stuff like that. Like, let's get into character here. I'm already super deep with this playthrough. Come on, this is the third episode of it I've recorded today. Let's keep this moving. Sell all these artifacts. See, they get super happy when we sell to them. There we go. All right. 
<sighs> the series is exhausted. Again, this is the third episode I filmed today. Which, yes, that includes the, uh... What's it called? <laughs> the actual level that I built. Again, if you want uh, some insight as to uh, how I actually uh, made that, you can go check out uh, you can go check out our Patreon, or you can buy Spore and Spore Galactic Adventures. I mean, you could, you could do that. Help revive the Spore community. That's one of the goals of this series: is to regain and regain a sizable um regain a sizable uh like player base within the spore community yet if you look on steam spy there's always people playing spore like always there's always people playing spore for very for various different reasons mind you but there are always people playing spore I want to see if we can make contact with the Irkton while we're uh, flying around out here. This will require us to. Uh... Do I have anything to trade? Yes, that giant diamond that I picked up. All right, let's go see if we can find uh, the Irkton. It should just be a short trip away. problem with making contact with the Erkton now would mean that we're allied with literally their entire empire. Literally the entire empire. All right, we, we can't go this way. With an engine, uh, with an engine uh, as powerful as ours, that would be a dead end. I don't think they're actually at any of these, unless they're at that one, Selby. Well, since we're out here, we might as well search these planets. No, nothing good there. We're in a pretty sparsely populated part of the, um, part of the galaxy, aren't we? Check it out, a wild planet. Full, fully terraformed to T1. Awesome. Set up a colony. This will be our deep space colony. Literally the farthest reaches of the Empire. Alliance. Colonial Alliance. It's a colonial alliance. I'm sorry I keep forgetting that. Let's see if we can find... You know, I think I just need to republish Center of the Arts under my own goddamn thing. Because, like, within Spore, I go under the Headhunter 064. And you can clearly see that the Center of the Arts is, in, is built in my name. Alright, so we'll build a factory. We'll do, we'll do the same thing we did with that last colony. Houses surrounding the factory but also an entertainment center. All right, so this is a little bit awkward, but the Heverin don't actually have a land vehicle, at least not for colonies. What was their air vehicle again? I think it would be red. Did they build air vehicles? Uh, they don't have a cologne. By oh, the way, that was the Heverin Faith, Faith ship. Why is it brown? Oh, now I remember the Heverin Faith ship. It's supposed to be like this uh, sort of blimp-looking thing, like a like an airship kind of thing. That's what I was going for with that. Let's get some. Let's 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 let's, let's build our own. Let's go ahead and build our own. All right, here's what I'm thinking for the half. Do this. Uh, right off the bat, let's get a paint job. Not like that, though. Can we make that, like, brighter red? Or... You know what? Let's, let's look through the whole thing. That might be good. That's just, wait, that's just pure red. 
Uh, we'll, we'll start with this, and we'll go from there. Uh, so we have the body. What kind of what kind of wheels do we want? We probably want something uh, something durable for the uh, for the uh, rough terrain that the uh, gather that the uh, spice gatherers will be traversing. So standard will include four giant treads. <laughs> If I could make this one taller, I would. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, how about some spotlights on the front, just so like they can see where they're going. Cool, cool. Uh, they're gonna be mining, so we might as well give them drills. Are those pink? Why the hell are they pink? Position them like that. I think they're going through the ground. Actually, it's probably better if they're going through the ground. All right, next. Uh... Ooh, yeah, I just got an awesome idea. <laughs> um, it'll come up to this. Push the push these two things back so that it, like, situates itself on top like that. It's not gonna be the prettiest vehicle out there, but it's a vehicle, nonetheless. Let's put some windows on it. It's not like they... They don't need to, like... They don't need to have the one window, they can just... Like that. To stand up straight. Fine, I'll do it myself. There we go. That looks good-ish. Let's add some details. Uh, maybe give it. Uh, all right, I got a, I got a cool idea. We do this, and then this in the middle. Yeah, that 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 looks good. I don't know. This is a d d looks are a matter of opinion. This, and then uh, like the this, like uh, I don't know, like the exhaust vent, something. Yeah, that looks decent. Uh, give me the paintbrush. I wanna paint these whatever color I desire. <laughs> Can I get a darker shade of- I think one of these is- yeah, that's actually black. Give me that. And these... Make them white. Yeah, there we go. Uh, can I do anything about these treads? Yeah, that looks- that looks way better. That looks way better. Alright, the- Heverin Miner. We'll just call it the Heverin Miner. It works. Yay! I need food. Alright, in the interest of saving time in the video, we're just gonna use the Heverin Faith ship uh, for this particular colony. We'll build a better one later. Where is the spice? Anyway. I know I built this around three guys. There, there's the dude. Uh, hey, can I, uh, yes, recharge. Thank God. Alright, with that, we might be able to actually get, or we could keep going. See if we could actually find the Irkton. Ooh. There's stuff on that planet. I want that stuff. Get out of the way. So <laughs> oh, good. Pirates. Come at me, you son of a bitch! Any day now. Did, did they give up? 
starting now to believe that they gave the hell up. Alright, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm just gonna go! Okay? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna follow this line of stars, see where it leads us. We might find allies out here, we might not. Probably not. I don't want to go any further than that. Not until we get a better engine on this thing. Ugh. You! You're charged by sh you're charged by goddamn ship! Uh... There we go. Don't suppose you guys want to buy something, do you? No? There's the better engine! Yeah, maybe these guys are selling it. Yeah, pig of uh, the pig of the pig of dead empire. They are selling it at a decent price as well. Buy it. There we go. Our range should be better now. It is. We might be able to cross right. I have reason to believe they're at that big bright one. Or maybe they're here at Selby. There is someone here at Selby. No, it's the that's the insectoid crawshaws. And we're already getting along, we just met. <laughs> here, uh diplomacy trade route. Woo! Got another goddamn trade route. Uh. Now what? Maybe they're here in the Horlo. Either way, there's another race here in the Horlo. It's the Shella Killer. Empire. Yeah, they think we're all right. <laughs> I'm just gonna go now and before I get completely and utterly disgusted by their appearance. Don't tell them I said that though, we're pacifists. <laughs> <coughs> Another thing the Hevrin are really good at is lying. <laughs> Because they're so goddamn pacifistic. Is that the word? I think that's the word. Uh. All right, let's uh, go back to uh, star systems. This one is now within our gra within our reach. We can now reach this one. There's nothing here we can use. Ah. We're looking. We're we're we're. we're we're going through the through the galaxy looking for rare artifacts that we can sell. This uh, alien race over there that we need to make contact with. In the name of pacifism. <laughs> oh, we've been ambushed by pirates. Uh, well, here we go. Hey, they have money. Got to have money. And right now, money is something that we don't have. Because we're the Hevren and we're pacifists and we're, I don't know, we're going off of uh, Church of Spode donations or some shit. Hell if I know. Alright, uh. More pirates, really? They're flying the same ship as I am! What the hell is that crap? There has to be a way to turn that off. Like, make it so that they don't go off of the same ship you're using. 
I mean, there's gotta be a way. There's nothing here either. We're running across the galaxy looking for treasure and we can't find it. Space Pyro. This should be good. I see. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know what race that- wait, there was a treasure on that other planet. They won't mind if we take it. Trust me, they won't care. There it is. Take it. Good. Cut. Prank. Get us the hell out of here. Check out this place and then turn around. Mainly because we can't go this way any further. I think we're like right on the... Yes, we're right on the gap here and... That's really depressing. It's really depressing that we're right there on the gap. Alright, head back to the home world and sell this thing. Repair, recharge, sell. He's super happy to receive this stuff. <laughs> um, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Whole load of yellow spice in this area. Yellow, red, yellow, red. Oh yeah, green. Yeah, let's let's mix it up a bit. Are you... Are you hugging kidding me? Uh. Pick it up. Yeah, 9,000. We'll get there eventually. To economic prosperity. Take the heaven and it's taking the heaven a while, actually. Hmm, there's natives here. A lot of natives. Holy shit. <laughs> what are they hiding? This. I got it. Hey, medium cargo hold, awesome! Alright. Hello there. I'm gonna abduct one of you. And by one of you, I mean all of you. In the name of peace, of course. Okay, bye! <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Don't worry, we, we did our research. That village was full of jerks. <laughs> we uh, peacefully removed them. Incoming transit. Okay, eco disaster when on. Zang. Here, go here real quick. Just pick up the artifact and leave. Any day now. Any day now. Any day now. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, we were ambushed. Oh, good. Well, then I'm leaving. Oh, hi. Ugh. You guys just can't leave me alone, can you? Yeah, that's it. Go away! I can destroy you. I will if I must. 
The Hevrin are not afraid of you. Unfortunately for us, we're also pacifists. Yes, yes, I know what to do. We have to kill the diseases. There's the disease. Killed. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even see him through all the... I'll just burn around a little bit. <sighs> Again, pacifists. Pacifists of the galaxy. Alright, done. Apparently I picked up some blue spice at some point, but I'm gonna sell the... I'm going to try that again, repair, recharge, and I'm going to sell this stuff to you so I don't have to go back to the home world. This is good. I'm just going to leave you there screaming your, screaming your goddamn lungs out. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right, what do we got here? There's a moon on, uh, and I'm right next to a gas giant. I love that view. All right, where is it? There it is. Pick it up. We'll sell it. It belongs in a museum anyway. What else you got? I'm, I'm, I'm open. Here we go. What's on this planet? Nothing. Okay, good. We're off. Off we go. Ooh, there's an unexplored. Nothing. Don't believe me? Look at the planet's resume. 50 billion years of nothing. How's the ecosystem on this planet? It sucks! Are those hammerhead cruisers? Are these pirates attacking me with hammerhead cruisers? Are you running away? Don't run away, you started this. Finish what you've started and die. In the name of pacifism, of course. <laughs> Alright, we'll try this planet. Oh, yeah, that's a good looking planet. Fire! You attacking me with. Let's see, what are you attacking me with? Are those Erkton ships? I don't know. Like, everyone manufactures their own ships, and then they sell them, and people buy them, and that's gonna be my excuse. That's canon now. <laughs> uh. Well, that's it for the Hevrin, at least for now. Uh, they have a lot of work ahead of them. They're gonna have to figure out... Fig fi they're gonna have to figure some stuff out. Because as it stands right now... They don't really have a very, very clear path within the galactic community. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, guys! And I will see you in the next video. Where we'll uh, be taking a trip. Wait, what was that? What's on Gal Galorian? Galarian. We're gonna have a lot of trouble with names, aren't we? The sun is a mass of incandescent gas, a gigantic nuclear furnace, where hydrogen is built into helium at a temperature of millions of degrees.